10 more days, ladies and gentlemen. First day of archery, September 30th, opening day. I'm going in to check my cameras one more time. I know there's a nice buck in there, potentially an eight pointer. I'm gonna go look at my cameras. See if I can figure out which way he's going. Morning, night, middle of the day, whenever. I want to try to find his bedding area. See if I can get in on him closer. There's one problem. I forgot my dang boots and I gotta cross the creek. Shoot. No turning back now. I'm gonna walk you guys with me, show you what's going on, I'll keep you updated. Tell you what, sneakers are pretty quiet though. Every time I come in at this specific location, I kick up deer out of here. We're not going to sneak in here. I'm going to get there as quick as I can. Deer don't like when people sneak in. So close. Well, at least if I drop my GoPro, it's waterproof. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I got lucky. I guarantee I won't be doing that in my sneakers if it rained. Boots aren't the only thing I forgot. I left my phone in the truck too. I had my spot marked on the onyx. See how good my sense of direction is here. Man, it's getting all tore up in here. some things going on in here since I've been in here last. That's just nuts. Hammering that one. They're hitting that big tree over there. Right now we have a northwest wind, and that's what I'm hoping for when we come in here and do a sit. I can see rubs from here, 30 yards away. Another spot, it's getting hammered. trail with some heavy rubs two there there's a fresh one and an old one
I'm going to pick out yet another tree so I can get on the right wind side of these deer on the first day. So I was 100% right. There's three springs running parallel down off the mountain. And there's heavy trails with rub lines. Had all three of them. Oh, we're at ground zero, ladies and gentlemen. They're definitely hit and hard. <laughs> Scrape. Right there's the mock scrape I put in a couple weeks ago. It's getting hit hard. Definitely some good, good sign in here. I'm going to be setting up right over there in that tree. Alright, so I checked both my cameras. This will be the last time I'm in here. And I found a real heavy, fresh rub line. I shouldn't even be in here, but it is what it is. The only way we're going to figure out where he's going. There's two rub lines here that meet together. In fact, right there's one. Right there, there's two or three fresh ones. A couple more fresh ones right over there. And also behind me to the west. That helps because I have my other camera north about 70 yards from here. For now, I'll be able to tell if he's coming and going, whether it's in the morning or in the evening. Yeah, look at this trail right here. It grows right up through there to the south. Right, there's another row of rubs, and they're all fresh. That's about a 30 yard shot from where I have my tree picked out. And I'm gonna have to get him before he gets below that tree over there. So I think what's happening is the, the first camera I have set up where I have a tree ready, where I'm gonna sit for the first day. A couple days after that I had a potential eight-pointer come into that camera. I got one picture of him, and that's the last time I saw him. He wasn't on it this time, and this is two weeks later. I think what he's doing is he's coming down, and he's cutting west just before he gets to that camera. I'm on the west side. I'm about 60 yards west of my camera right now, and I think this is where he's coming down and then coming back up through in the evening. So I might move over another 30 yards. Or I might just sit that the first day and see where we're at. I'm glad I came in here to figure this out. Because I'm seeing a ton of sign and a whole lot more rubs. Just 50, 60 yards west of where I was going to set up. This is pretty exciting.